Hi and welcome to our new video on discovering the new WMS industry packages. If you're one of our partners and you're selling Prodomax WMS, this session is for you. So before we get started, I, I want to explain why we're doing industry packages and why we're releasing that type of content to our partner community. And I want to start talking about what prospects actually want. So we're going to look at the top reasons of, of what makes people decide that they want to buy something or companies decide that they want to buy something. So let's take a look at this by one by one. This research is coming from uh, Forrester. So if we start and we look at product knowledge, actually that's not a factor for companies. They don't really factor the fact that people have product knowledge, in not even the ability to communicate the differentiators. Likelihood and personality together with technology expertise get only 9%. And the ability to leverage the company's resources is only 12%. Industry knowledge and expertise counts for 22%, meaning it actually carry a weight if you have industry knowledge and you have expertise in a specific industry. It carries its weight and it, it influences your ability to close a deal. And last, and I think this is the most important one, and not just me, but also Forrester identified it, is the ability to understand and to solve challenges. At the end of the day, customers don't want to know how perfect your product is. They don't want to know what all the bells and whistles in, in your product's functionality. They only care about themselves, and that's okay. But what it means to you is that you need to be able to tie in your message, your sales pitch, into what they need to hear, into their specific challenges and taking the time to discover those challenges. Usually it's done during a discovery process prior to presenting a solution is highly important. And I, my personal recommendation is don't skip discovery sessions. This will help you uh, nail the next deal. Okay, so if we know that we need to understand and solve the challenges of the customers, then obviously we need to do something about the way that we present, the way that we talk, what do we choose to highlight and so on. So we're all about selling the benefit and, and selling the benefit means that we don't tell them about all the features. We don't tell them about how nice we do certain processes or how nicely we do certain flows in the software. No, we really need to change that and make sure that we dig into a specific feature and see why do I want to highlight that feature to that company because it's going to actually matter for them. Okay, so we need to put the benefits before the features. We need to speak about how does it solve their specific problem. I remember when uh, working at SAP and doing pre-sales at the time, my previous boss used to tell me, when you go into a demo and you present a solution, don't start talking about, you know, the, our software can do X, Y, Z. No, you want to simulate their environment to your pitch. And what does it mean? It means that you're st starting your demonstration with the words, you're walking into the room, you're sitting next to your computer, you're starting your PC and your Prodomax WMS, and this is how your day is going to look like. So you're actually diverting your words to talk about your customer and not about yourself and definitely not about your product. Everything has to tie in to this customer perspective. Now, the more experience you have, obviously you can start differentiating yourself to your customer with the product and you'll just start to stand out in the market. You need to gain that experience. You need to gain the industry expertise. You need to change your sales speech to align to the customer needs and requirements, and that will set you off to success. Okay, so what are the industry packages? Again, if you are familiar with best manufacturing industry packages, then I guess you already know what we have in WMS. It, but for those of you that have not seen the BS uh, industry packages, not even familiar with what it are, what the Boyum industry packages are, then 
you should know that we are working with our customers, with our partners, with our consultants to gain a, or to transfer their knowledge into a specific industry knowledge. Everything that you will find in the package, and I will soon explain specifically what you can find, has been reviewed, verified, amended by our expert consultants by the, through the discussions that we have with our customers and partners. We generally ask them, what were your challenges? What is going to be best in implementing WMS in a specific industry? What are the trends that are hitting a specific industry? How do we align our functionality to uh, the benefits that a customer can get out of? We provide you with ready-to-use documents that will just save you time and effort because I don't know if you know, but actually compiling presentations, compiling documents, especially when it's industry specific, takes a lot, a lot of time, takes a lot of research. And we wanted to really cut down all that time for you and be able to provide you with what we think is the best of the best uh, when it comes to industry material. The material will help you engage the prospect in a discussion that will just have them open up. So if you talk to the prospect about their specific challenges, they're going to listen. And then they're going to come back with questions. They're going to come back with objections that you need to know how to handle and so on and so on. Okay, but you need to get them to open up. And that's the purpose of the presentation to really get them to open up and, and to speak in their terms to their needs. So why do we created it? Very simple, and, and you've seen it from the first slide. To be successful in, in closing deals, in implementing it, it's important to understand the specific, and I have to highlight the word specific requirements of each industry and each customer. You need to make sure that you get new consultants up to speed. By having them to look into this package, they have an understanding of what that industry is and how to use Prodomax WMS in that specific industry. Okay, we talked about the time. We talked about the fact that we really save a lot of time for you guys to be able to just take the, the slides that we have, take the material that we have, just use it in your presentation. And of course, doing the research, I can tell you personally, it, it takes a lot of time. Okay, so we, we will research the trends for you either if we go to our consultants, we go to the customers, or we just do online research and understand what's coming up next. In this package, you can find information related to implementation, sales, pre-sales, and uh, marketing. With time, we're going to put more things into it. So here is what you can find. Under the implementation, you can find best practice presentation that really allows you to go into the process of food and beverage, for example, let's take a look at food and beverage, and how to apply it in WMS. What's the best practice for that specific industry while using WMS? Okay, so for example, let's take a look at that. We're going to go into the package, and let's take a look at Prodomax WMS uh, best practice. Okay, so we obviously tell you who this document is for, what is, what is documented, what are the, the general terms of the food logistic industry? Okay, some specific topics about uh, uh, food logistics like expiry date, like shelf life, and so on. And at the end of the day, we talk about the processes. So we really take you step by step into what are the best practices for food and beverage. Okay, so let's start with, for example, what is the organizational structure? We, we explain the organizational structure. We provide, obviously, a link to the wiki. So if you want to extend your knowledge, you can do that. And then we can go into some of the charts, what's the flow of specific processes, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, it's a long document. I will not go through all of it, but of course, you can download it today and look for yourself. The next document we have in line is a brochure and customer success stories. So under each package for every industry, you can find marketing materials. Let's take a look at the brochure, for example. Okay, so uh, the WMS food and beverage brochure 
very nicely designed. It's a new design that uh, uh, we've done lately. We've just edited everything. And you can also find a reference slide. And this is just an example for reference slide that explains what happened before and what happened after with a nice testimonial. And of course, you can see a video if existing. Less, we also provide you with a targeted sales presentation. This presentation is to be used in your uh, meetings, in your demos, in your first meeting, second meeting, whenever uh, it makes sense. So let's take a look at the targeted presentation and then I'm going to discuss a bit about how to use it, what are the guidelines, what's the best way to use it and so on. Okay, so here is our um, sales presentation. So obviously these days we're uh, dealing with COVID-19 and the effect it has on the food and beverage industry specifically. We're talking about what are the trends that we're seeing from companies like PwC, where companies are taking or prioritizing in reaction to the crisis um, and some other information that's related to COVID-19. And then we talk about challenges. Now, here are the challenges for specifically the food and beverage. And we talk about uh, backward forward traceability, labeling, recall management. Those issues are very relevant to food and beverage. And also we're talking about what's coming next. I mean, what's going to happen to the food and beverage after COVID-19? What's changing in the world? Okay, so you can see that we have different trends that are happening with, I mean, globally, uh, for example, like, like no touch food or uh, group purchases or online purchasing, even for food. Okay. It, then we're talking about what are the opportunities in COVID-19. And obviously, if COVID-19 is not relevant when you do the demo, you can just hide those slides. Okay. But we did include the slides because we do think that this is a high topic or critical topic to discuss these days. Then we have a kind of a transition and we talk about the benefits of the solution. So we talk about the integration of WMS to SAP Business One, which is a key factor in why selecting Prodomex WMS. We talk about the, uh, we show very visually, I would say, uh, how we integrate to SAP Business One and how do we provide more functionality in SAP Business One while using WMS to, to make sure that those food logistic companies can handle all the requirements and all the tracking and all the traceability and audits and everything that they need to do. So we, we show that this is a one product. At the end of the day, they see one product. Okay, especially WMS, uh, Protomax WMS has the same UI as SAP Business One, so it is a bundle. And it is critical that you get that integration to make sure that all the aspects of the business are being captured. Then we talk about specific functionality for food and beverage, and you can extend that. So, for example, this is a list of all the functionalities for uh, food and beverage. And you can go in deep into each one of those sections and decide to even involve slides from the best practices. For example, if you have technical people in the room that want to get extensive knowledge, comprehensive knowledge, then you can include slides from best practice to explain each one of those points. Then we talk about compliance. It's a big topic for food and beverage, for life science and so on. But now we're talking about food and beverage and we talk about the GS1. We explain the FEFO and life and sorry, and shelf life. This is a kind of an, exp a, an optional slide for people that don't really know what's the difference between used by date, best before and so on and so on. I have to say, I didn't know what's the difference was before I started working on this presentation. So it's a very nice to have. And then we talk about the benefits. So we talk about, for example, EDI for optimizing our logistic processes and make sure that we have all the information that we need. Uh, Real-time inventory data, tracking shelf life to make sure that we don't have to throw away products just because they passed it. End-to-end -end traceability, labeling. So we, we do explain the benefits of each one of the important uh, uh, benefits or important functionalities. And as I said, you can 
mixed slides from best practice to make that presentation more technical. Now we're talking about why Boyum and why Prodomex WMS. After we talked about the challenges, and of course, if you see a challenge that is not making sense for your specific prospect, change it. Okay, just add another challenge. If you see a benefit and it's not relevant or a missing benefit, add it. Okay, this presentation is a framework. Then we talk about Boyum, what makes us unique, what makes our product unique, and the fact that we can support you in the long term. Some of our customers within the food logistic, food and beverage, and testimonials or product cases, customer cases. So again, you see before and after, before and after for all those type of companies. And in the end, we have a call to action. So this presentation is built in a certain way to try and take your customer down the journey or down the road to make a decision. So let's talk about guidelines. In the presentation that you've seen and in all the materials that you've seen, the information is dynamic, okay? Because one of the questions that I get when I explain about the industry packages or when I present it to partners, some of them say, you know, it fits a high level demo, but it doesn't fit the technical demo. And I do want to say this presentation does fit a high level uh, audience, C level in the room, it would suit it perfectly. If you have technical audience, like I've said before, add or hide slides from um, the best practice document from, or even add your own slide, add your own challenges, different benefits, but don't change the flow of the presentation. The flow has to remain the same, that you start with the challenges, you move on to solutions, you talk about differentiations, why us, why the product, social proof and a call to action. Okay, so change it, make it your own. It's only a framework, but don't change the flow. And when adding slides, if you're going to change the design to your company design, which is okay, make sure to, of course, match the design. And continue learning. I mean, just join our e-learning and certification programs. Learn how to implement the different products, specifically Prodomax WMS, and really enjoy the best training experience that is very convenient and you can take it any time that you need. With that, if you, if you do have more ideas, you want to see another product, you have a need for specific tools from us, I always encourage our partners to write me personally an email and ask for whatever it is that you need. So take advantage, send me an email, tell me I'm, I need, we think that our partners need white papers, you need a certain tool, you need whatever it is that makes sense to you, feel free, my door is open, so um, I'm looking forward to your emails. If you think you have a customer that we can talk to, of course, contact me or contact uh, our sales department. And I wish you all the success and please stay safe. Bye-bye.